This episode of The Horror Show is brought to you by Danielle Terrazas. Ter- well, I'm sorry, Danielle. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Eric Thomas and Caitlin Van Ders. I think I might have said that one properly. Thank you all so much. They donated over at patreon.com slash I hate horror. Um, and uh, we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, get ready for Deathbed, the bed that motherfucking eats. Yes. <laughs> Just sitting around watching horror movies all fucking day. Okay, I stopped paying attention in class. I was thinking about the adventures of Ash, about the misfortune of sending kids to Crystal Lake. Became addicted straight away with the initial tape. God bless Betamax. Betamax. VHS, holy like Amanda Kruger. I was introduced to genre flicks by Toby Hooper. I started craving more just like Larry the Looter. I collected VHS without commentary or bloopers. Throw computers, magazines, a bunch of stores. Spent my money on movies and begged my mom for more. I'd watch the boys kill those astro bastards five times a day or even more. I loved the gore. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Horror Show. The show dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events. I'm Sean. I'm Joe. Well, what movie? What movie sets up the holidays like Deathbed? None. The bed that eats. None. That's the full title, Deathbed, The Bed It is, yeah. That's insane. I love that title, to be honest. It's insane. It's It's very uh, on the nose. Well, sort of, except this movie sucks. Um, Well, no, I said the title. (laughs) I didn't say the movie. Uh, This is one of the few movies that Joe and I were able to have a gag order on somehow. We did not discuss this. No, we did not. Which is insane, because all I wanted to do was talk about Deathbed with Joe. Yes. And I'm re- so we're very excited to talk about Deathbed. This was something else uh, suggested to us by Jesse Spearman, longtime fan. Yes. Thank you for this, Jesse. My wife actually brought up Deathbed like three weeks ago because I guess Ellen watched it. And my wife's like, <laughs> of course, <laughs> loves Ellen. <laughs> Watches her talk Why show. Why did Ellen watch it? I don't know. She was like, can you believe there's a movie called Deathbed? I'm like, yeah, I would have to watch it like <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Uh, Yeah, we're excited for Deathbed, sort of. Well, I was excited for Deathbed, and then the first 55 seconds were (laughs) of chewing noises. (laughs) Literally. Just chomping. The movie starts, black screen, and you just hear, it's clearly somebody eating a fucking apple. You threw it up on um, Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. So, uh, I was going to say check it out, but it'll be long gone. But maybe I'll put it up after we release this episode, too, because it's fucking... It's fucking insane. It, it, it is 55 seconds. Of, it sounds like they're eating an apple. It's like. Yes. 55 seconds of that. I get nauseous when I listen to, to my wife eating, eating food next to me. I, like I get my teeth grind. I get so fucking aggravated. So 55 seconds. I was, I was about to turn this fucking movie off. I was so fucking aggravated. Um, and it only got better from there. <laughs> uh, it flashes breakfast across the screen. So this was made in 1977. Yes. Oh, so this is after Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> it's a year before Halloween. <laughs> it's terrible. This is one of the worst, most poorly made movies. It's I've ever the most seen. 70s movie ever. <laughs> well, besides maybe Fritz the Cat. Fritz the Cat and this <laughs> sum up the 70s. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> So many people that like the 70s are probably like, what an ignorant piece of shit. <laughs> the same year that Star Wars came out. That, that's that's appalling. <laughs> Although really, sometimes when you look at Star Wars, you look at the costumes and shit. Because it's an amateur movie. I know, I know, I know. Oh, no, I know. I'm not, I'm not taking, I'm not trying to take away from Star Wars, but you won't look like, at. Like George Lucas made that. You look at it. <laughs> yeah, I this right. guy made that. <laughs> like. Oh, what? I would say 75% of this film's, I'm using air quotes here, dialogue <laughs> is. Are these people telekinetic? <laughs> because everything, right. yeah, everything's All telekinetic. Right. So, so there's like a guy stuck in a painting <laughs> who we'll see in a bit. So he talks telekinetically. Like he just Constantly. narrates. He just narrates. But then he, he telekinetically talks to somebody at the end. 
But then we have characters in a car and they're talking to each other. And later on in the movie, two of them are sitting across from each other in a fireplace and their mouths are not moving. They're <laughs> talking in like the narration telekinetically. I don't know why they're doing that. Holy shit. I just got the worst chills. This movie is unbelievable. You really can't, you, you can't handle it. It just ramps up from minute one. It just gets more and more ludicrous as it goes on. Yeah. It's fucking, it's fucking insane. Um, it's so stupid. It's so fucking crazy. Uh, Is there anything you can give credit to? No. Wait. What are you going to say? When the things get sucked into like the beds like with stomach acid, <laughs> it's kind of cool looking. No, it's not, Joe. <laughs> it's no, dreamy. No, it's just fucking water. <laughs> All right. We'll get there. Holy shit. That's kind of cool looking. It's not. Oh, man. So we, we flash across the screen breakfast. Which, when I saw it, I was like, please tell me they're just going to, please tell me they're going to go through all of the Spets meals and tell us when the meals are. And that is they do. what they yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we open up with a guy who is sitting, you, you think he's in a prison. He's talking like he's in a prison. Mm-hmm. And he's saying weird. Dude, he's such a fucking <laughs> sad sack piece of shit. I, I so boring. I literally call him sad painting man throughout the course. <laughs> and not only that, but the shit he says makes zero sense. You can only pick up like key words in it. And that kind of gives you what he's talking about. Otherwise, he's rambling. Yeah. He's talking to the bed who never talks back. <laughs> <laughs> But the bed also, okay, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this guy's talking about being stuck in a prison, how he can't stand the snoring. Because the bed snores. <laughs> the bed fucking <laughs> snores. And then, and then we see a couple, a, a man and a woman, come through this giant wrought iron gate to the house. Yes. And this guy's like, oh, God. They're waking up. He's waking up. <laughs> and you keep thinking, is he talking about a bed or, or something else? And he is talking about a bed because it cuts to the bed. And then you hear like, no. <laughs> <laughs> the bed has a voice in this that is, yeah. um, it's like high pitched, but it's very soft and faint. Honestly, the most insane thing about this movie is they explain why the bed's like that at oh some my God. point. That's which, the point. Why? Saying. Just like if you're already like this shitty, just don't even bother. And they explain it so late in the movie, so late. The painting guy. So late, and and when they insert the flashbacks, it, it makes no sense because something happens and it just goes into like the flash, like the entire history of the bed. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. <sighs> It was about three quarters through the movie before the painting guy all of a sudden was like, well, let me tell you about the history of this bed. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, this this fellow in the prison that we that we were introduced to, turns out he's actually caught in a fucking painting, which yeah. his soul makes a no sense. Well, yeah, his soul's in a also painting. explain that. We, we also <laughs> see a physical man hiding behind what appears to be a window, but it's supposed to be the painting. Yeah. Because, God forbid, we get confused (laughs) during this movie. (laughs) Oh, my God. So the bed is yawning and lip smack, smacking. Um, And it's just a bed. I I need to emphasize that. The bed's not moving. The bed never moves. The bed doesn't have lips. (laughs) The bed does nothing. It it just cuts to it and there's overdubbed. It would be if it had teeth. (laughs) Well, that's fucking what I was hoping for, man. (laughs) When I pick up Deathbed, the bed that eats, I want the fucking, I want killer condoms from outer space. You know what I'm saying? Do you, the trauma movie? Yeah. Killer condoms? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not from outer space. I always make it's killer things. clowns. Yeah, yeah. But the condom literally has teeth right, right. on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want the bed to have. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this couple uh, is talking about this long walk that they were on uh, and, and and that they're scared to go into this building. But Why? I don't understand why they're walking to this place or what they're doing there. Or I don't anything. know, but were these two of the worst actors in the movie? Yeah. It's very close. Well, they're all really bad. Actually, these might be the best ones. No. Who, who would be the best one? The painter. <laughs> the, well, the painting guy. That's because you don't see his fucking face. You see half of it. All right. At least you can talk. <laughs> I mean, these guys can't talk. These guys can't talk. You're right. Um... So they try to go inside, but the bed is laughing. (laughs) 
they're trying to w- go into this building and it cuts to the bed who's like <laughs> <laughs> and it's locking them out which doesn't make sense because he wants them to come in yes he wants yes correct the whole plot is later on the painter's like all you do is eat people <laughs> <laughs> and but he's locking them out and it's really weird because so he's the bed is telekinetic Mm-hmm. Right, Everyone so is. It, or telepath, telepath, or whatever. So he's locking the doors to the house. Yeah, yeah, w- without touching them, just like a ghost. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's it's really weird. So that's happening, and then the painter's like, "If I could only speak behind <laughs> this painting and warn them, this fucking asshole talks the whole fucking movie. <laughs> it's infuriating." <laughs> And this is a, this is actually when I realized he was part of the painting because he's painted gold. Yes. Some weird color. <laughs> and he's in the painting. Uh, they they finally get into the room somehow. And they're like, isn't this great? And it's literally brick walls and a bed. Right. <laughs> the worst place you could possibly I would n- I would walk out of there so fast. I'd be I'd be like, get me the fuck out, you deadbeat piece of shit. <laughs> this is this is what you sprung for for our date. But don't worry, she's hungry and asks for food. Well, so, so he puts apples, uh, a a bucket two of apples, chicken, <laughs> two apples, a bottle of wine, yeah. and a bucket of fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he puts them on the bed and they start making out, and this like foam comes up and it just takes the apple. That's the yes, first it's victim. This bubbly foam that yeah. surrounds these items. It's just bubble bath. It's bubble bath. And it pulls the apple down into the bed, which it's like absorbed in mm-hmm. what is the bed's stomach so, acid. So clearly, and the way the it's it, it made me laugh so hard. The way the frame is shot, it's on the level of the apple. So you don't see it. And it's clearly somebody grabbing the apple and pulling yeah, it. Oh down. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and then it cuts to this weird. And this will be, this is the setup for everything, guys, for when the bed eats, just so you get a visual. The bed, and this is on YouTube, by the way, you should watch it. It's insane. And then that, when it pulls it down, it goes into this frothy, what color was it? Yellow or green? Yellow water. And it just kind of sits there (laughs) and nothing happens. And then it comes back back up. up. It's it's just the core. (laughs) Like a man ate it. Yeah. Like a Why wouldn't ate. the whole thing absorb? Of course it would. Because <laughs> everything else does. Everything else. Well, Except- besides the hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a skeleton of hair. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. This is the funniest thing ever. So, yeah, so it, that's what it does to the apple. And it does that, anything it eats, it does that too. Yes. That's the general premise. You're going to see it a hundred times in the fucking movie. So it goes back up and it's just the core <laughs> sitting on the bed. So now it takes the bottle of wine and the bucket of chicken. And it drinks the wine. But not the bottle. But not the bottle. It just takes the wine out. Yeah, it brings the bottle. And the bones of the chicken <laughs> go back up too. <laughs> and not only that, but we're treated to these beautiful sounds of like, glup, 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 <laughs> when it's drinking the wine. And then for the chicken, it's like... <laughs> Like, we get to hear the bed fucking eat. It's insane. It's so fucking insane. Uh, and, and yeah, it brings the trash back up and leaves it on the bed. Yes. And they decide to finally take a break from making out. And because. <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, the woman's like, I'm hungry while they're making out. And he's like, mm, come on. She's like, no, nah, let's eat. Mm-hmm. So, so the guy takes the. Em- <laughs> what does he say? He takes the. He finds. I grabs the empty uh, chicken bucket and the empty bottle. And he goes, hey, something, something wrong. I must have made a mistake. I must have made a mistake. <laughs> Dude, a dog. You made a mistake. You packed up a bunch of chicken bones in an empty <laughs> wine bottle. What are you saying? I must made have made a mistake. mistake. That's the worst part because, again, it wasn't just an empty chicken box. Like, he opens it up and pulls out chicken bones. <laughs> Ian, he's like, oh, I must have made a mistake. What the fuck are you saying? And then the girl's like, that's all right. I'm not hungry anyway. You're the one that stopped <laughs> you him. You literally said three times, I'm hungry. <laughs> Um, and then we get some real high school action here. This guy is the most ferocious boob rubber of all time. <laughs> he pulls off her shirt and is just rubbing that boob. Just one boob, just rubbing that with his big old mitt <laughs> while he's Frenching. It's like some hardcore high school action. And these people are 
in their mid forties. <laughs> uh, Why are they even there? That's that's what I'm saying. And all they they were talking about walking there. Yeah, just fucking the woods. Which, P.S. Also, whose house is it? Like, why would you just go into a random house? I don't know. <laughs> and later, the next group that comes by for lunch, the, it's going to be the bed's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> the next group that comes by, it takes them what seems like an hour and 15 minutes to drive to the fucking house. And these people walked here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we see the curtains closing. Yes. And then we just hear some screaming. And uh, an arm drops down yeah. below and just blood trickling just down, blood. which and again doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, why would the blood be? There's another scene where uh, we'll get to it. Is, is it with the, the toes? Yeah. <laughs> why, why is he bleeding from there? Because <laughs> for some reason, we'll get to it. This movie is the fucking. This might be the best movie for this show. Yeah. Yeah. There, uh, there is one scene was probably the hardest I've laughed for any movie. In this, sh- like any movie we've done for this 100%, 100%. show, hundred percent, hundred percent. Like I say to you, like all the time, like it's so hard to laugh out loud when you watch a movie by yourself because there's no one to, like feed off the energy. Like, <laughs> like it, usually for me, I like smile or like, in my head, be like, "Oh man, that's fucking funny." But I was literally like laughing out loud, like holy shit! It's it. It made me laugh so fucking. Hard. It was unbelievable. <laughs> um, it was really fucking unbelievable. Uh, so on oh, painting guys covering oh, his, super his, sad. His, <laughs> covering his eyes. Painting man is super sad. <laughs> yeah, he's oh, really here bad. we go again. The fucking um, Eeyore. And then, then just after that, then we get deathbed, the bed that eats across the screen. <laughs> what a preposterous name, but not as preposterous as Rusty Russ, <laughs> the star of the film. <laughs> Rusty Russ. You fucking he has to be a porn name? star. A hundred percent. It's the seventies. That dude was sticking his dick in whatever. <laughs> uh, so Painting Man is still sad, still sad, still sad. Painting Man is still sad. And then he's just talking shit to the bed. Dude, that is literally <laughs> what I have written down. That's so funny that you said it in that terminology. I wrote, and talking shit about the bed. Dude, talking mad shit about this fucking bed. I don't even know what he's saying, but I know he's calling him a coward. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so long. It's he's just rambling. Yeah, he's roasting. <laughs> <laughs> Friars Club, bro. They're so bored in this stuck in a painting. You just roast the bed all day. That's why the bed eats people. And then after he's done roasting them, then we get to see a montage of 1920s and 1930s stock footage of just like streets and people in the streets. <laughs> It was really weird, and it's for a few minutes, and then we get the classic spinning newspaper yes. from the Daily Bugle, Woo-hoo. reading headlines that say things, thousands disappear, then str- <laughs> strange munching sounds heard in the night. <laughs> yeah, I wish I fucking, that was in the headline in our newspaper. Then mayor demands action, and then in the background you hear some guy go, I demand action. <laughs> And then the next, the last one is Mayor Disappears. <laughs> um, and we cut back to the painting who's still talking shit. By the way, this is this is one of those movies where we say, does it, if it sounds like we're jumping around a lot, that's because it's the way it's filmed. Oh, yeah. This movie, too. There are scenes where it's like, I will, I'm going to tell you, we cut to a tree <laughs> <laughs> and it rots. And then we're back to the action because <laughs> it's fucking insane. This shit that happens. Here. I just saw my note like four lines down. It was so stupid. Like, what, what? I forgot this happened. <laughs> Wait. So, so now, uh, well, we get the lunch like, title card. Yes, lunch title card, and then uh, a bunch of girls in a car mm-hmm. making their way to the house. And this one girl's like, <laughs> she's walking through the woods by herself. She's like, everyone ignored me in the car except when everyone made fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's really fucking paranoid. She's having a bad trip. She's having a bad trip here. She's 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 because then she's she says that they're just she's she says the two girls are staring at each other and not staring at her. <laughs> fucking weird. Um, the painting is also talking shit again. Where he's saying, um, maybe if you didn't eat everyone, people would come. <laughs> Don't take it out on the house with petty. Oh, and because oh, he's because because the bed is like the bed the bed's mad that the guy's like talking shit. So he like cracks the he's foundation. 
<laughs> and, and the painting oh, gets more pissed. Which, by the way, the painting destroys the house at the end. So <laughs> I don't know what his fucking problem is right now. He, the painting is upset, and he's because he starts saying things like, "Don't take it out on the house with petty vandalism." Like, he's annoyed. He's really <laughs> fucking annoyed. And then, but then at the end of that bit, he just starts going, "Yes, yes, that's right, yes." Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Um, so these girls, they they say that they're take they're talking about a gangster who used to used live to there, own the house, yeah, and they're liquidating everything. And then they stop and they're like, "Huh, there's no house here, but it smells like death." Yeah. And then they get in the car and drive. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're still driving. <laughs> the girl's freaking out. And then they stop at a cemetery for no reason, and uh, they just kind of look around. And um, I don't know why anyone's buried in a cemetery because the, the bed's bed eating them. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's here's one of those scenes: a uh, random shot of a girl laying in a casket. Yep. And by random, I I mean literally out of the blue. <laughs> It just cuts to a girl laying in a cat. But, but we find out who that girl is later. Later. Yeah. It's totally so you don't need it now. <laughs> you totally <laughs> unnecessary. It's not like you saw it at the end and was like, oh my God. Yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, they find this. They, they finally find the house, which looks nothing like the one that we saw at breakfast. The bed's breakfast. Yep. Yep. It looks totally different, right? Uh, I didn't pick up on it, but I also didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, now the painting man is excited for some reason. Now he's like, oh, you get to eat. <laughs> um, and for some reason, he can also see people far away from the house, even though he's trapped in the painting. Uh, I know. I do. <laughs> he's like, there's a girl on a beach. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> She's miles away. And then. One of the girls stands near the bed. She's and we, standing on it. Or <laughs> standing on it. And we see inside the bed's belly. <laughs> this is so stupid to say. We see inside the bed's liquids and there's blood in it. Yeah. And the painting's like, you're bleeding. Why? This one bothers you. You're frightened. I've never seen you like this before. What the fuck is happening? I have no It, it is so insane. No clue. It's, but- and that never gets explained. No, no. And and the funniest part is they bring it up again. I know. He actually throughout the rest of the movie, he's like, I'm "Why is this so like, like, Of course they explained it. There's no, 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 no. I was watching this pretty intently. If you're gonna tell me they explain it, you're full of shit, or you read something online after the fact. <laughs> it's it's bullshit, dude. There's no fucking way. The Dude, he starts rambling about rings, rings. He's whatever. <laughs> There's no way it gets explained. Um, I feel high just watching this. It's so absurd. It is because there's a scene coming up. You you go on first. So the two two of the girls leave. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Oh, and one of the girls says the rest of the house must be around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard ever in a movie. <laughs> the rest of the house must be around here somewhere. <laughs> they go outside to look for the rest of the house. <laughs> they leave the fucking house <laughs> to go find the house. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> which leaves the girl that was freaking out in the car alone. Um, and she's getting undressed. <laughs> and the bed 100% starts masturbating. <laughs> Did you pick up on that? No. She starts getting undressed and the bed, it's it shows inside the bed's belly and it's just bubbling, like a lot of bubbles. And the bed's just going. Uh, uh, I uh, did know it was uh, getting horned uh, up. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's clearly masturbating, Joe. The rhythmic, uh, uh, that bed was jerking off. It was out of control. Um, and she says, you know, when they get back, I'll tell them I'm ill so they can drive me home. And she lays on the bed. And all this is in, in. Dubbed over narration, yes. by the way. Yeah. No one is talking. <laughs> is this when she eats the bowl? Uh, no, that's that's later. Wait. There's like a moth, and like some green bullshit. Oh, wait. Yes, that is. Because she uh, she wakes up in a dream. That's a dream? It, yes. So, oh, okay. So she, yeah, she goes to she sleep. The moth. She goes to sleep. Yeah. And she has a dream, but it, it's, it appears she wakes up. Yeah. And somebody's like, eat your 
food. And there's a tray in front of her with these disgusting bugs in it. Yeah. And she eats like the larva. Yeah. And that's real, right? You mean like the actress really put a larva? Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. And chewed it. Yes. And you could kind you of tell on her, her like mouth, like yeah. whatever, like this is disgusting. I'm not yeah. getting paid enough. Yeah. hundred percent. I'm so glad you picked up on that. That is absolutely what happened. I, I was waiting for the cut and I was like, holy shit. I think she just ate that <laughs> disgusting thing. And I don't think they used a fake one. One of the movies we watched recently. Oh, um, final exam where he sprayed the deodorant, shit in his mouth. aerosol yeah, yeah, yeah. deodorant yeah. into his mouth. And we were like, they did not have a budget to make fake aerosol deodorant. Yes. A hundred percent. This girl ate this. that. The girl, they, were, <laughs> they don't have money to make fake bugs. <laughs> They gave her a fucking bug. And that big ass bug on the plate was the biggest bug in the world. I know. <laughs> uh, and she eats it. Uh, and then meanwhile, we kind of cut to outside the dream where she's laying. And the, the bed pulls off the sheets and all of her clothes. Yes. And then the scrub and bubbles show up. And, you know, the bed is eating. The bed is hungry. Yeah. It eats flowers that are on the, the bed. Right. Instead of eating your meal... It's eating the garnish. Yeah. Because the girl dropped flowers on the bed. and is, So the bed's like, I'm going to eat these flowers first. Yeah. And then it eats a cross. <laughs> and then eats a necklace. Which <laughs> just like slowly like tugs on her neck. So, so she, <laughs> the friction. <laughs> it's a fucking mind numbing what happens in this movie. <laughs> so the chains is going back and forth. Like, like, like you would, saw? You would think it was going to cut her head off. Yes. But it doesn't. It, does. it, just, it just like it somehow slowly kills her. But I think we're supposed to believe it is cu- because it, it's showing it going across her neck, and it is doing no harm whatsoever. None. But then it would cut to the water underneath her, yeah, and there'd be blood in it. There's blood in it, right? So I think we're supposed to believe it's supposed to be cutting her. Yeah, but we just can't see just, the blood. <laughs> it's totally fine. But don't worry, we do see blood because it comes out her fucking feet. <laughs> The camera cuts to her toes, and there's blood coming out of her toes. It's the most insane thing I've ever seen. What the fuck is happening? Being hurt on her neck. It, this movie is is insane. So then she finally gets pulled under. Yes. And she turns into a spooky skeleton. <laughs> with, the, with, the wig. with the wig on. <laughs> the bed eats everything on her except her bones and her hair. <laughs> And you might say, well, of course, you don't eat hair. Why would anyone say that at this point? (laughs) But the bed eats fucking everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. (laughs) The bed literally eats everything. (laughs) Left her hair in perfect condition. I would even argue that there shouldn't even be bones left. Oh, I would say the same thing. But but the bottle was left before. (laughs) Movie something else, man. (laughs) So and then, and then, and then the flowers that were in the the bed's belly, are they show up outside. <laughs> it's like the most like sharpest cut ever, and then they're just like planted. Oh my god, it's so funny. Um, yeah. Oh, we also see a skull in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the flowers. So the flowers planted. I think they were trying to say somehow the bed <laughs> puts the bones <laughs> and shit it eats on the earth. <laughs> Well, that's nice of it. It's like the Lorax. <laughs> um, I'm the deathbed. I speak for the trees. The Borax. <laughs> uh, we also meet... Um, I don't know if we met this guy earlier. <laughs> no, we, we didn't. Oh, the wait, br- for like a second, the brother? <laughs> the brother. Yeah, because he's outside. He's like, how come every time she runs away, I have to find her? And we find out... We, But it's not clear, by the way. <laughs> But it's clearly one of their brothers talking to maybe a mom. Yeah. And he's like, well, I have to go get her. And then that's the same. <laughs> and then we meet him again right now. And he's in a phone booth yep. calling people, asking where his sister is. Why wouldn't you have just done that at home? Find, drive and find a phone booth <laughs> to call people. And then it goes back to <sighs> painting, man. Oh, my he's God. Like, You're nothing if not grotesque and hungry. <laughs> I mean, he's right. He's right. Yeah, so, that's exactly what he is. Oh my god, this movie is the best. I'm honestly on the verge of crying from laughing. Um, the other girls we cut back to the girls who are just <laughs> cutting blocks of cheese. Dude, none of this movie makes it. No, the movie is so fucking absurd because both girls come back to the house, and then one's like, "I'm gonna go check on the car," 
why are you checking on the car? Why do you need to check on the yeah. car? And then she doesn't check on the car. She's fixing a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> With a block of cheese. Oh, my God. And then God. it goes back to the bed, who's still moaning. <laughs> He's still moaning. <laughs> and he eats a rose. And he gets fucking heartburn. <laughs> So it drinks Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Where did he even get the Pepto Bismol from? But it's just emptying it into its stupid stomach. <laughs> uh, death deathbed's gut jokes. Holy shit! Oh my gosh! So the painting guy is trying to say something again. I I, I don't know what it is, but he's sort of trying to explain the history. He's like. Remember that time you ate a priest? <laughs> it's like Family Guy jokes. <laughs> Dude, yes, yes. And it shows the priest, and he's just like, huh? <laughs> he gets, like, sucked in. <laughs> it's literally a priest just reading the paper, and he's just like, whoa! Uh, and then he's like, and the woman who stayed here. And it's, it's, it's old- honestly like a Dr. Seuss, because he's like, young, old. <laughs> and it's an old woman who then pulls out... The, the lesbian magazine? Oral lesbians. <laughs> and then the headline is, Big Butts Bazooms. And, and cracks and cracks is spelled C R A X. And there's no need for her to be reading this. Like it's not integral to anything. No. And then the sadder one is the cripple. No, the baby. Oh, but yeah. they don't show the baby. They yeah. just show baby shoes, which is just as evil. Yes. And a baby being like, Wah. <laughs> but it's clearly a man being like, Wah. <laughs> and then an amputee woman. Yeah. They get they get her. Just classic. Mm-hmm. Um, and a doctor and a young lady who, who bring the bed outside <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> this makes no sense. It's a doctor and a woman who are there to fuck. And then there's another guy. Who is that guy? Who's like, did it work? And they're like, no. And he's like, I've got an idea. We'll put it in the sun. And people, people will come fuck in the sun. And then we cut to the bed outside in the sun and an orgy happening <laughs> under a blanket. <laughs> And the bed just eats everyone. And there's so many disgusting feet shots. <laughs> Directed by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god, yeah. that's so fucking funny. And so the bed, oh, hold on, hold on. the bed already start. If I'm not mistaken, it already started eating two of the people that were in. Uh, like <laughs> the two people are fucking, and there's the other guy that's watching. And the bed's starting to eat these two. And the guy's like, "I'm joining in," and just goes in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A hundred percent. No, it's absolutely what happens. Oh, man. <laughs> the guy's like, you ate so much, you slept for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my gosh. It's so And fun. then it goes into, like, pretty much just a montage of who he's killed. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. And the other weird thing was, um, you know, it's so weird because they bring the bed outside. Yeah. And, and there's no – they had to write in a way to get the bed inside. And the painting's like, I don't know what happened after that, <laughs> but through some circumstances, you ended up back in the basement. <laughs> Honestly, the best writing ever. <laughs> just fuck him. <laughs> Honestly, this might be good. Like, th- this guy might have just been trolling us. <laughs> it's so funny. And then, but then one of the montage pieces that made me laugh so hard. The, the cards? Yeah, because the guy goes, the painting is like, but I think the real reason we're in this situation, he's going through these because he's saying, he's saying, why, why are we, why are we in this situation yeah. type of situation? Like, why are we stuck here? Which is weird because later on, he tells us the exact reason they're stuck here. But he's making this out to be some sort of, he's trying to clarify why the bed's doing this. And it, it makes no sense. And then he's like. And then, but this is the one that I think really did it. And we cut to these guys that are the two worst renditions of mobsters I've ever seen. (laughs) One of them's doing a fake Italian accent for the first three lines and then stops completely. And he's got the biggest Yosemite Sam mustache of all time. It's like the guy that made it has never seen a mobster in his life. No. Um, And they're inside and they're, they're complaining about how it's the stupidest hideout ever. And they're playing cards. <laughs> and on each card, one of the guys, it's writing starts appearing. because it's five cards. Because the bed's doing it. Sorry. The bed wrote on his cards <laughs> with a fucking pen. I didn't write down the original ones, but it said, like, you are going to. It said, ha ha, you are dead. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> the guy's like, hey, is this some kind of joke? And then the next card's a joker, and it says no joke. <laughs> um, and then, of course, they get eaten. Well, they shoot the bed. <laughs> yes. Well, the, the guy's, like, shooting his dick. I, I've never seen more careless Wait. handling of a firearm. So... The first guy gets eaten. The first guy, like, pulls up his cards and realizes he has foam all over his hand. He's like, what the fuck? And then he's getting eaten. So the other guy's like, what the? And he grabs the gun and starts pointing at his dick. And I'm pretty sure they were supposed to add gunshot sounds after. There's nothing. Because he's just clicking the yeah. gun and nothing's There's happening. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and, but the best part of that, and I don't know if you noticed it, but he he says he says a couple words in Italian, but then goes, but he's talking so calmly. He's like, Mamma Mia, I'm being eaten alive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then the last scene we see of him is his cigar going under straight up and down. <laughs> like a cartoon. Like yeah. a fucking cartoon. <laughs> Do you think this is intended to be funny? I, I, honestly, I hope so. <laughs> if not, there's a very It feels serious very, game. very serious. It really does, it does feel serious. Yes. But there's no way. I, I want to believe it's not. <laughs> oh, my God. So then after these guys, Painting Man tells about his fate. So Which he's a painter sucks. who's... It does, yeah. Painter who's diseased. Consumption. What is consumption? It's the one where you, like, cough up blood. Okay. So the bed eats him, but he's too diseased. The bed doesn't want him, so you put him in the painting. <laughs> the bed doesn't want to eat this dirty meat, so he sticks him in a painting somehow. <laughs> Traps him in the painting. <laughs> well, one of the girls is back. And even though they were just together. Oh, he doesn't tell a story about the demon before this? No, no, not yet. Okay. No, that's the best thing that. Oh, well, that's literally what happens okay. next. So the girl comes back and because they're still looking for the one that's missing. And she says in her brain, probably got stuck in a bear trap. Yeah. Logical. Um, <laughs> what's <laughs> Imagine uh, being at a place where that might happen to your friend. <laughs> wait, <laughs> I'm not sure what's more idiotic. Thinking that a bed might be eating people or thinking that your friend fell in a bear trap. It's just stuck. There. <laughs> just. <laughs> um. And then painting guy is just straight up talking more bullshit. But also, we learn. Oh, what's she's that? like comment, like like. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Like, yeah, like that yes. would be. Like, oh, yeah. okay. it's not alarming. <laughs> yeah. She's just whatever. <laughs> Dumb bitch deserved it. Um, painting guy then starts really talking some bullshit when he starts telling us the story of the deathbed. Yes. Yes. Um, it's about a demon he fell in love with a woman and his eyes filled with blood. <laughs> Guys, this is not even a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, because he, the demon conjured up a bed. He made the bed. So he could bang this woman. Yeah. And then uh, she, she obviously died <laughs> during during coitus. Yep. So he cried. Yeah, like the demon, demon come killed her. Yeah, well, as it should. <laughs> and, and he got he, sad. He got sad. So he cried. And, and the, his eyes shattered. <laughs> and the tears of blood. <laughs> the tears of blood fell on the bed, which obviously... Turn it into a deathbed. Right. And he hid in a tree. <laughs> That's literally what he said. They're like, the demon hid in a tree. And I think the demon's still there. Because, the demon because, is still because he just tree. sleeps, but every once in a while he wakes up and then the bed comes to life. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, is, that is the dumbest story. I mean, all those key words that I use, like sh his eyes shattered, are verbatim what they say. Yeah. <laughs> they say there's the, he's, the the painting guy says that the demon is hiding in the tree. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so amazing. And then he... So that's why the bed's here. Right. That's why the bed's there. <laughs> Makes it, it still does not bring any closure to any questions I had. But then it gets even worse because then he says, within months, you went through the rest of the bloodline. Yeah. So somehow the bed killed the entire family. <laughs> but why? <laughs> also, that girl... Is like somewhere <laughs> like the bed. The bed put her in her grave. Yes, like her body. Oh, the whole, still the entire family. The bed killed the entire family. Yeah, and that cemetery that we saw earlier. Yeah, that's all. That's the family. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> they're the all, ate them. But they're not all skeletons. Like everyone else, he ate. No, they're they're fine. <laughs> they're actually very well preserved because one will rise from the dead later. Yeah, the in perfect condition. Uh, 
<laughs> uh, Fuck. <laughs> but don't worry, um, because right now the bed starts playing the organ yes. through telepathy. It sure does. <laughs> and the, pa- the painting's really upset. The painting really doesn't like the organ playing. So then the two girls come back. <laughs> also, they show dur- during that period, they just show clips of shit being eaten by the bed. Yeah, but yeah. we don't know why. We just see like shoes and shit getting eaten. Makes no sense. Just thrown in there. Oh, man. So, so the two girls come back. Yep. One smoking, sitting on the bed, smoking a cigarette yep. on it, but it doesn't eat her. No. So then this is where we were talking about before. They're sitting in front of each other in front of the fireplace, but they're talking telekinetically. I don't care what anybody says. Their mouths are not moving. And plus, it's the same like spacey narration that you hear when everyone else is <laughs> yeah. just talking in their head. Yeah. And she's like, hey, I found this book of dead people and our names are in it. Oh. And the girl's like, let me see that. And she's like, no, they're not. And then it's literally a blank book. <laughs> it's mirrored pages. Yeah. So it's you're in it. Hmm. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Fuck. They it's also me. a dream. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Part part of the bed deal is, which, again, they don't explain this. It's just kind of thrown out there. The bed makes you, I mean, based on what we're seeing, the bed makes you have a crazy dream before it eats you. Yes, yes. But I don't know why. No. <laughs> and then also that woman says, uh, please sure looks So I guess that's why they're talking telekinetically. It still doesn't dream. make sense why they're talking telekinetically. Because <laughs> guess what? It still doesn't make sense when everything else is talking te- telekinetically, not in a dream later. Right, you're right. So don't, you know. <laughs> don't beat myself up. Yeah, don't beat yourself Over up. deathbed. Because a painting starts talking to a person. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts eating this girl. Yes. But she pulls herself out. She grabs onto, like, the headboard. Oh, yeah. So her legs are all bloody. Yes. And she crawls slowly. And I mean fucking slowly. Yes. And she's trying to crawl up these stairs, which there's four stairs. <laughs> That's all there it, is. It takes forever to, for this woman to get to the to the door. Yeah. And also, we get the dinner title card right before this. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and I just need to say, at this moment, I became exhausted with this movie. <laughs> I was literally drained. My brain had had enough. It was but the best parts coming up. Oh, I know. And it was still amazing. But my brain was in overdrive trying to process all this shit because it was so absurd. I was exhausted from it. Oh, but yeah, so she gets to the door. Yep. And the bed pulls her back <laughs> through telekinesis. <laughs> which it could have probably done. And that's her eyeball on the bed, right? Because we see an eyeball floating. I don't know, man. <laughs> and then the painting guy's like, I haven't smoked in 70 years. <laughs> yeah, cool story, man. Guy. <laughs> um, and, and so she gets to the door. She opens it. The bed starts to pull her. Meanwhile, the third girl, the final girl, comes running in, but can't save her in time. And somehow that girl got sucked up into the bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not sucked down. Um, so that that was weird. Um, well, that was fucking weird. Meanwhile, the brother shows up. And that's when we see the eyeball just rolling around on the bed. Seemed like three minutes of an eyeball rolling around. And it was the same clip played over and over, just mirrored. <laughs> they would just mirror it to flip it around. And the sister's just sitting there in shock. And the brother's just staring at this eye. <laughs> and um, the brother comes up with a plan. And his plan is, he's going to stab the fucking bed <laughs> with a fucking knife. <laughs> uh, and puts both of his hands inside the bed when stabbing it. Yes. Both hands are holding the knife, two-handed. He plunges it, but his hands are stuck. He can't get it out. The sister runs over, tries to get it. She's pulling on his hands. They can't get him out. <laughs> so when he finally comes out, he still has all he still has the sleeves intact, but they're just fucking <laughs> skeleton hands, Plastic. skeleton fingers. And his reaction, this is the part where it made me laugh out loud to myself because he's just looking at himself with his like big stupid face and his mouth agape. He's like, huh? I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> not screaming. He's and, not in pain. And then, and then like cuts to like later, you know? It, it's like that night, like yeah. later that night. And he's just so sitting there staring at his stupid, they're like the scrawny skeleton hands. <laughs> they are plastic skeleton hands. <laughs> and he's clearly holding them inside of his shirt. And they're, they're so disproportionate to his body. <laughs> Yeah, they're not the size of his hands. And then, like, the, like pieces are just falling off. He's like, oh, man, the cartilage is going. He's like, he's, yeah, well, so, why cal- would the- he's so calm about it. He's, he's like, well, 
appears the cartilage is disintegrated. There's no flesh. There's <laughs> hardly any blood. <laughs> God, get the fuck out of that house. What are you doing? It's almost like a surgical operation. Yeah, they're just sitting in the house. <laughs> Dude, a bed I, just I, melted so your hands So much time pass, and he's just still standing there, sitting there, just looking at his stupid hands. And then he asks his, he's like, I'm going to have to ask my sister to remove my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and his sister rips off his fucking skeleton. <laughs> Why can't he just do it himself? Just bang he, him against the wall. That's exactly what I was just about to say. All he would have to do, the, the bones You're are falling off. <laughs> All he'd have to do is put his hands down and they'd fall off. Um, and while this is happening, oh, and then the sister throws them in the fireplace and they burn like wood. <laughs> the bones burn like wood. <laughs> They're fuel from a fire. Uh, and then we cut to painting guy who's uh, talking talking to the bed and just yells something. The demon sleeps. He's lost his strength. So, But it has nothing to do with anything. No. It, well, because when he's awake, that's when the bed eats. Well, right. So, like, whatever. I mean, I know that, but it's just like it's they didn't do anything to put him to sleep. No, he just felt, he just felt it was <laughs> nap time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we get the card, the just dessert. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the, so the painting is talking to this girl somehow magically through telekinesis, and it's somehow telling her she's doing. It, it appears to be witchcraft. Some type oh, yeah. of witchcraft. Yeah. She's drawing circles outside. Taking a knife and cutting it on the floor. Cutting it on the floor inside. And blood's coming up. <laughs> and this causes. And then he's like, you got to take the bones that she just burned. But, but you got to take the bones and like connect them and it'll all make one big circle. Yes. And then everything will ignite. <laughs> and he's like, oh, and by the way. Well, first it teleport. The first part of this teleports the bed outside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then, then she's making the circles. Uh, yeah, and then the bed's like, oh, and by the way, uh, forgot to tell you this. You're, you're not going to survive. <laughs> you're going to die. You're going to die. He's like, but good news, uh, you'll resurrect this other lady. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And uh, someone was raised from the dead, this yep. woman. Yep. The demon's girlfriend. The, the one that died while getting porked. Um, and then the bed lights on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this dead girl is butt-ass naked. But she's alive now? <laughs> so I looked up the Wikipedia page, which the synopsis is her dog shit, but it's calling this woman that was resurrected the real mother. <laughs> <laughs> that is not referenced in this film. No. No. Never. Never once. The real mother. So the real mother also starts making out with the demon in the dirt. Yeah. For a split second. Yes. And then it just, that just goes away. And, well, it says they, they complete the ritual by having sex. Dude, it's literally a five-second clip. That's why I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five-second clip of her kissing the demon. Yeah. And Worst then sex that's... ever. <laughs> and, then, and then the bed lights on fire and dies. Also, why, does, <laughs> why is she going to have sex with the demon again? I don't know. It killed her. <laughs> that's Fool what... me once. <laughs> shame, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on me. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't don't take the demon dick, guys. You know this movie. So this that's how it ends. Yes, that's the, the end. The bed burns, and that's it. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> this movie sucks, but it's only an hour and seventeen minutes, and it's so fucking stupid <laughs> that insane. it just like I didn't Wait, mind. Do you it. think people should watch it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Do I think people should say? This is a one of my favorite horror movies. No, don't be a fucking idiot. I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> this movie is insane. It, it is hands down. The this most is like insane. the perfect type of movie to review for the show, though. Oh, definitely. I, I mean, I've never seen anything like it ever in my life. I've never seen anything this bizarre and stupid. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. It, nothing about it made sense. Well, so thank you, Jesse. Honestly, I think this is this is like Hall of Fame, THS Hall of Fame level right yeah. here. This is that's what I wanted to because you wanted to do something for like Patreon for end yeah, of the year. Yeah. I don't want to do like top ten movies yes. of the year. I want to do like the top ten favorite or top five favorite movies that we talked about this yeah, that we yeah, had to watch yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I agree. Yeah, this is up there. This is amazing. I mean, not in terms, it's not good. No, it sucks. But it was very fun to talk about. Yes. Um, so next week we have Gremlins to celebrate the holidays. Oh, and everyone, thank you. Uh, 
happy Hanukkah if you celebrate Hanukkah. It might be ending today, though. I don't know. Not sure. But happy Hanukkah if you like Hanukkah. Or if you celebrate. If you like Hanukkah. <laughs> um, we appreciate it. Thank you all so much. I hope everyone's holidays are wonderful. We've got some Patreon stuff coming up. Maybe we have already done it by the time this comes out. No, no. Wait, no. This is coming out very soon. Um, but we'll have some cool Patreon stuff coming very soon. Um, next week is Gremlins, courtesy of Ashley Moody and the I Hate Hurricanes fundraiser. So thank you. And um, that's it for this episode. Uh, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. That's the best way to help us. Uh, if you do, email me, Sean, S-E-A-N, I hate horror, dot com, And I'll send you some stickers. Send me your address. And I'll send you free, free stickers. Uh, Facebook.com slash I hate horror. <clears throat> I hate horror dot com. Store dot I hate horror dot com. We have very few shirts left. Maybe three of them. Maybe a little bit more. I think we have one hat, maybe. I'm not even entirely sure. So check that out if you want them. It's the last run. I think we're going to have a new shirt coming soon, though. Um, and by soon, it's probably going to be a few weeks. <laughs> Definitely going to be a few weeks. So, um, And then uh, that's it. I'm on uh, Instagram and Snapchat at I Hate Horror and Twitter at I Hate Horror Show. I'm at Jovi421, Boognish 1985, and Horror Show Joe. And that's it, guys. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We've got some big announcements coming up. We just can't make them yet. Probably going to be in Chicago in April. Looks like California in April. <laughs> big announcements can't make them yet, but uh, here they are. <laughs> that's true. Well, whatever. And we love you guys. Uh, and that's it. So for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Compulsive, I have to make a mind Stay to shrine, life is shorter than you die I'm gonna watch those tapes again Even though I've seen them like a million times B- BHS Wanna play? I'm gonna watch what I'm not supposed to watch <laughs> Fucking zombie getting sliced and diced A killer, a monster Just a fucking idiot Watching movies all fucking day Kill her, mom